Hey guys. Alright, so what we're planning on doing is him. This is Brian. He's an old Paradise Gallery baby. Yeah, his body's really thick. Um, so I find him to be a skinnier doll, and I find her to be more of a chubby doll or chunkier. So I'm thinking about putting his body on her and her body on him and seeing if that works out because I've not really liked how thick his body is and I don't like how thin her body is. So let's just switch them. It's a good solution. Oh, did it not pop out like I thought it would? So I thought when I pitched it, it was going to pop right out. It's sticky, guys. The inside of our head is sticky. I don't know what to do. I should just ignore it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to put her back together for a while. She has to dry out. It's sticky. It, that's sticky, too. This is what was in her. It's poly pellets in a bag. I mean, I don't think it matters if it's been like that the whole time since she's been... Yeah, because it's not going to cause an issue in the long run. Okay, there. I got the hairs. Her without a head. I just got to get her limbs off. And here is the difference of the head. It is sticky. The bottom of it and some of the insides. Got a residue on it. She smells like oranges, so I think it's some sort of adhesive or something like that. I'm gonna need to borrow this. That's why I'm like, just puff right off. I've got a negative set toe down. This doesn't look weird at all. I did it! I think this body I used once before and it already started ripping. So. I might have to sew that. Yeah. It shouldn't be too challenging for me, but. Bodies stop working. Were they not where you left them? Mm. <laughs> Just looking for the. So I got her arms off. She's armless now. And for her legs. Oh. Hey, look! I got her leg out. I need a funnel for this. It, it's inevitable, okay. Mom. It's gonna make a mess. It's inevitable. too much of this because this is the uh, baby powder smell. So I guess just use it in the arms. Because they're right down here. The tags. I hit them from you. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below if this is too boring for you guys. We don't know how to make it exciting really. We just know that we find it interesting and maybe you guys would want to know how to do this kind of stuff. We've done a few videos. We posted one, but it was just a photos, so I found out you guys don't really like photos based on views, so um, see what we can do from there. I'm both limbs with poly pellets is such I don't know why she's having so much issues. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Uh, I only made a little bit of a mess. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. They all want to fall out. 
Where's all the other zip ties? Did you hide them? Yeah, you did. They're over there. Oh my god. Is this the front? I think so. His? Yes. Hers are kind of buried over here. These just want to come out. This is his one of his legs. Is that not on the right way? Where's the other one? This one. Oh, he looks so much better than that. Just, just from a leg. I, I can tell he's not really better. body I'm working with is going to grow a lot. Hey, I got that finally to work. Now to make more of a mess. With beets. I'm going to move their heads for now. Oh, I forgot his head was weighted. I feel like his head is pointlessly weighted though. Considering it doesn't, he doesn't have a neck. Brian has no neck, I report. He's got, I don't know, it's just like... I don't think his head has wobbles. No. Even if he's weighted. Yeah, it's, it's... I just feel like maybe we should take his weight off out of his head because of the fact that it seems so pointless. It, it adds weight to him, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. Just put stuff in it. Yeah, I'm thinking... I don't even know how much is in his head. It's a full pound, of course, to remove it, but... It's only half. I guess we could leave it, but... I'll do an investigation later. I'm working on his arms. Yeah, head comes last. Now she's working on Brian using, um, well, I mean, the whole name of her was like Angel Baby or something like that, so let's call her Angel for now. Um, she's working on Angel's body. And that's fine. It's A and B. Angel A, Brian B. I'm making a mess. Yeah, I'm trying to make her smell like baby powder a little bit. That's why I'm adding baby powder fluff into her. It's basically fluff that we put in babies that have had uh, baby powder wafts in them that we ended up taking apart. Here's our scope babies is specifically who I'm talking about. We also added some actual baby powder into those dolls too. Hence why these smell like baby powder. Alright, so these are his legs. His legs have been attached. And here are her arms. They've been attached. I didn't show them the other bike cell. Now to move on to the legs. Yeah, we're not making as big of a mess as I thought we would. I mean, right there, you can see right into the leg. It's been ripped because of how many times. Oh, this isn't feeling well because um, I have to sew it. There's no way I can do this without sewing it. What am I going to do? I need a bowl or something. Oh, oh. I don't know if we'll show him, her all put together because it might take Megan a while to get her put together. Or we'll at least get Brian put together. Alright, and this is his arms. All complete. Alright, you want one pound in him? For now, yes, and then let me feel. That's, you're gonna want more than that. 
I would want more than that. So it's like she's gonna want more than that. Here's the other half, two half a pound, so that's basically two pounds. See, I'm so sorry. You guys have been looking at polyfill this whole time. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just over here sewing a leg. Because it's ripped and I, I can't do anything with it. And I'm over here just trying to get him to look a little bit better than he did before. I'll just have you fluff their lines. I don't over fluff. Megan has a tendency of over fluffing her babies. I just like really fluffy children. I'm not doing anything too challenging over here sewing wise. Check his body. Yeah, okay, I guess I could show you. Um, okay. His butt needs more fluff. Excuse me. He's got a little bit of a See what's in his head. Yeah, I'm just getting stuff in and out. Like, oh, like there is beef or something in there. He's got a really weird shaped head, so. Yeah. Is it a full pound? Yeah, but it's half. Yeah, just put four from him. Okay, so I completed one. I might have already used the same exact like for the other one. I still got plenty left. Yeah, so basically it's just a needle and just a long piece of thread with a knot at the end and I just I just sew it the best way I can think of. There's no cross sewing or I don't know all the terms. I just know that basic sewing it's, I don't use a sewing machine or anything to fix the bodies. Where you can make bodies, I'm gonna eventually get the pattern to do that. Yeah, the, you, can buy, you can buy the patterns off of Etsy. Normally the types of uh, stuff that I end up sewing up is a lot of stuff that's at the seam of a... Um, I think it's the seam? At the, basically where the sewing machine sewed up the body. That's a nice body. That might provide me with a floppy head. I'll flip you the head that top is. The floppy head. Does that look good? Yeah. It's just, I don't know. Okay. Actually, I might just do a pull, pop it out. But you still have to cut the zip tie. Yeah. I was hoping it all fell in the bowl, but it didn't. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna empty the, the leg. these before I can even finish them because there's no way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to fix is, so let's see if I can show you. So right now what I'm dealing with is the inner part is, uh, which side was it? Um, you can see it. It's, it's right here. Um, it needs sewn back down so that I can loop the zip tie all the way through. And then it's mainly just that part that's ripped. The part that holds the leg together isn't ripped. So that's all that I really have to fix. Sounds like not a lot, but it might be a little challenging. So let's see if I can do this. Hi, baby. Oh, I like him so much better. I'm sure I'm off to the camera. Alright, so this is him fully. I hope fully. This is him fully. Um, situated the size zip ties are not been cut yet. But that's his lovely little face on his new body. His arms. And then his legs. Which, Megan's right, this is as chunky as that one. Either that 
Sorry, I didn't, fl I didn't fluff them as much as Megan likes to. Yeah, just blend it on me. And before you cut the zip ties, you want to make sure they're they're tight, where they won't fall, where the ones won't fall out. Once you cut it, you can't go back on it. The only way to go back is by completely cutting off the zip tie. Unless you know how to undo a zip tie, but we've not figured out. We've even watched YouTube videos. Hi guys. Um, my mom had to go take my sister to my grandma's office. So you guys watch me so. So I have fixed up the inside a little bit by sewing it basic. It's nothing too challenging. If you ever wanted to try it, um, I'm just gonna snip off the extra string. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna fix this part. Uh, I hope it doesn't consist of me having to get a new body because bodies are not cheap. Um, it seems like it was ripped from here and up, so I'm going to see if I can sew that up a little bit. So it's, it's pretty, um, the threads are pretty rough, so I don't know where to start. I'm not an expert at this, guys, so if you think I am, I'm 100% not. So if you're not an expert at sewing, then don't worry. It's, I wouldn't say this is challenging. I don't know if I can say it is easy either. It's... This body's extremely thin and weak. I got it from, I believe, Dolls by Sandy. And their bodies are, um, the reason why I swapped it is because their bodies are very chunky as compared to the doll, the doll I just got, which is the Beringer doll. But right now I'm just reinforcing this. I might cut this this part here because it is doesn't seem to be necessary anymore uh, based on how much of a mess this is. I'm being careful not to sew up the holes that allow you to put the zip tie through. Um, I'm hoping this will be successful. Of course you guys will see that. Sorry this video is so long guys. Whenever we fix up dolls it takes a while. Okay, so I've tied it off. I'll cut the string. I'll set that down. Be right back. Okay. So I have sewn up the legs. And now I will proceed to put the beads back into her legs. Okay, so Pellets. I'm not going to do the ones in the bowl because it doesn't have as much of an opening. It's got too big of an opening while the poly pellet uh, bag we have doesn't. 